after my previous R10 video on my YouTube channel, the number one question a lot of people ask is, how much is it to go on the R10 treatment? Hi everyone, my name is Lulu, aka The Fashion Lulu, if you are new on my channel. Um, today we're going to speak about the nitty gritties of going on the Orotane treatment as a whole, the payments, the amounts, etc. So, the number one question a lot of people ask is how much is it to go on the Orotane treatment? Well, I was on the Orotane treatment. I'll speak about my experience throughout this whole video. I was on the Orotane treatment or on acne treatment rather since the year 2007, if I can remember correctly, um, until 2016. So I was, I've been on different types of, um, you know, treatments. And the last time I checked, a box of Orotane is around 600 Rand, if I am not mistaken. How much is consultation? Consultation, when I used to go to a dermatologist, so consultation was 600 Rand as well. Um, bearing in mind that it's the, cons the first initial consultation, it's the initial consultation, and then there are, you know, checkups afterwards. So it's 600 Rand per consultation. So depending on how long you're going to be on treatment for, that's the amount that you're going to pay. Also keep in mind that when you go on acne treatment, they don't just prescribe just the acne pills, they also uh, prescribe extras. So my extras that I got prescribed were eye drops, eye drops, if I'm not mistaken, eye drops at this chem were around 300 rand and you also have to go on contraception when you go on the orotane another issue that i you know experienced was i had to go for blood tests you have to have to go for blood tests when you're on the orotane treatment so that they can check your um, organ function and if you are pregnant or not you cannot absolutely cannot fall pregnant while you are on the orotane treatment because you know you just can't fall pregnant. Your baby's gonna come out deformed, and in most cases, they want you to abort. So you have to go for blood um, tests when you are on the Orotain treatment. I'm not sure what the cost of the blood tests are because I don't know what sort of um, you know blood tests I had to go for. If you'd like to check for like um, estimated prices for blood tests. Go to the Lancet or, you know, the Ampeth, the labs and check on their website for like an estimate. Um, but they do require you to type in the name of the type of the blood test that you're going to, you know, that you require quotation for. I was also prescribed some sunscreen, which I use SPF 50. Um, I buy the sunscreen at Discam for around 150 Rand as well as castor oil and zinc ointment um i had to get custom castor oil and zinc ointment um for the dry skin which at this chem is about this chem or clicks i'm not sure this chem or clicks is about 32 rand 99 cents so all in all when i add up that uh amount I'll add it up and put it somewhere in the video. All in all, it gives me around an estimate of around uh, 1,800 Rand. So you must remember that that 1,800 Rand is maybe on a monthly basis. It can fluctuate as well. As I mentioned, I was on the treatment for around nine months. So I took 1,800 Rand odd and I times it by nine months, it gives me around 16,000 Rand. So within my experience of been, being on the R10 treatment, I didn't have to pay around 16,000 Rand for the entire treatment. I got my treatment for free. Yes, you heard me right. I got my treatment for free. So this is how I went about getting my treatment for free. Um, if you haven't watched my Orotain video, I'm going to put a card or a link somewhere in this video. You can go watch that video after you watch this video. So 
basically a doctor friend of mine referred me to a government hospital um, but before I could go for treatment at the dermatology department in a government hospital I had to actually go for treatment at a GP I had to go to a GP first and then I had to be on like treatment that the GP prescri prescribed um, I was on that treatment for around three months he prescribed doxycycline so I went back on taking doxycycline I was on doxycycline before I went on Orotain for around three years um, and as per usual doxycycline it does work um, but it didn't work you know on a long term term basis and then he also prescribed some other ointments and they didn't really you know go well with my skin I was actually having more breakouts so the reason why I went to a dermatology department in a government hospital was first of all um, my dermatologist didn't want to prescribe Orotain for me um, she kept on saying that my skin is not all that bad for me to be on the treatment and um, I felt like I was just going back for you know um, treatment to her but it wasn't really going anywhere that's my first reason my second reason was that I was a full-time student another reason um, was because my doctor friend did mention to me that a lot of dermatologists do not want to actually prescribe Orotin or Ro Accutane to the um, patients because they've had cases in the past where women did fall pregnant while being on the medication um, and ended up suing. So yeah, that was my reasons why I got transferred or got referred to a government dermatology department. Now, with that being said, on the first month, right, this was my experience, on the first month I went there, um, it was a bit of a runaround because I had to first register and open a file at the um, hospital reception and then only they will refer you to the you know designated department so I went to the dermatology department afterwards when I got there I saw a dermatologist for my first you know consultation which we actually it was more of a talk through and I had to actually go on semi-permanent or permanent contraception first before I could go get on the medication um, and then I had to go for organ function blood tests and to see if I am pregnant or not and then only she was going to prescribe um, Orotain and then there were a few things that I had to sign as well like an agreement between myself and the hospital between myself and the dermatologist something of that sort um, that I'm not gonna fall pregnant and things like that so yeah there was a bit of a run around on the first month and then on the second month that's when I started to get my prescriptions um, before you go to you know the dermatologist you have to go get your blood test first and then you go to the dermatologist from so from then onwards um, you'll have your consultation and then from the dermatology department you go to the dispensary and get your medication in it's home time so yes guys it was a monthly thing because I had to go for checkups so it was a once a month thing for that duration um, it wasn't all that bad you know just my opinion it wasn't all that bad as mentioned I was a student at that time a full, full time student so I would take my assignments with me or whatever reading materials I had to do or you know whatever work I had to do with me to the hospital and then while I am in the queues I would you know be busy with my work read a book listen to music be on social media and just stay in my lane so yeah it wasn't all that bad um you are going to deal with like rudeness 
um, yeah, you are going to deal with rudeness. Yeah, basically, it wasn't all that bad. People that want to talk to you, you know, chat to you, sometimes you don't feel like chatting, and you just put on your earphones and just go about your day, really. Uh, considering that the treatment is free, the consultation is free as well, the only amount that you pay is 40 rand for admin fee. So was the experience worth it? Um, yes, I think the experience was worth it. The treatment was worth it because of, you know, the experience. I learned a lot while being on the Orotane treatment. I learned a lot about my health. Um, I eat healthier now. I drink more water now um, because of the whole Orotane experience. So if I were to pay for the medication, it wouldn't be worth it for me because it did not work for me permanently um so imagine if i paid around that sixteen thousand rand odd only to find out that my acne is hormonal so yeah it was worth it in terms of the experience it wouldn't be worth it in terms of the amount that i would spend i would have had to spend on the treatment just to round it off what are the pros and cons of going to private versus government and vice versa the pros of going to private is that there aren't any long queues right and then um the second thing is that you get your medication whenever and wherever you want the third pro is that you don't have to deal with like you know an immense amount of rudeness coming from the healthcare workers. The pros of going to government is that you only pay 40 rand admin fee, um, your consultation and medications are free, and you only pay for transport basically just to get you there. As well as everything is in one spot. So if you need to go get blood tests or whatnot, then it's in the next department. If you need to get, you know, whatever else is in the next department so you don't have to travel around and go get like blood tests and whatnot which adds on to your hidden costs basically hidden costs are your transportation food you know anything that you spend any money you spend outside of your treatment basically what are the cons of going um to private the cons are that you pay a lot of money uh, if you don't mind paying that amount of money then it's not a con but you do pay a lot of money the second con is that not all dermatologists are going to prescribe or retain easily just like that um, the third con well speaking from experience and the third con is that it might not work permanently there are people that you know have not been 100% cured from this mysterious acne whatever um and there are people that have it has worked permanently for them so it's it's a bit of a gamble what are the cons of going to a uh, government you wait long queues first of all second of all you collect your medication from one dispensary um, you can come back the following day. I never did that. I just wanted everything to be done and dusted on the same day. So I would collect my um, medication on the same day at the dispensary. The third con is that you don't get to see one dermatologist. So if you've got a checkup this month, chances are you're going to see a different dermatologist next month, etc. But you, you always have your records on you so they can just read um, okay so what happened last month your skin has improved etc and then um, move on from that uh, but you can have a an arrangement at the reception area of the dermatologist um, department to say that okay I'd like to see a certain dermatologist and I'm willing to wait for maybe the next person the person in front of you to come out and then you know you go see that same, same dermatologist you can have some sort of arrangement in that specific hospital that you may be going to um, which I did have an arrangement so it was an advantage in that sense to see one dermatologist because that dermatologist um, they've already built a relationship with and they know exactly what's going on with you. 
even if you see different dermatologists um you know you still will get the same goal at the end of the day so yes guys that was my experience the aim of the video was just to help out those that are not able to go on the Oritane treatment maybe for you know money issues or you know for experience issues if maybe they are afraid that um Oritane is not going to work for them and they don't want to spend exorbitant amount of money um as well full-time students you know just in general people that are finding it hard to be on the Oritane um treatment and that have a lot of questions um people that are worried about you know the money side of things just to help out if you didn't know you can get Oritane treatment for free go about the treatments and not spend a lot of money um i'm sure you can also arrange with your dermatologist to pay on a monthly basis i don't know if that option is available i actually had a friend who who paid for a treatment with a surgeon where they paid up front first not really upfront but on a monthly basis and then only went for surgery once they've paid up the full amount so there are different options on how to go about the treatment so yeah that was my experience um i'm sure you can speak to you know your healthcare provider or your dermatologist on the different options on going on the treatment yes guys that is it for my video again if you still have questions that i did not answer in this video you can get me in my socials or you can comment in the section bar below i'm happy to answer your questions um otherwise i am gonna see you next week bye